Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Engertopia. Now, you might be wondering, Matt, why are you why are you so high up in the air? That's so far away from Engertopia, except, well, it isn't. <laughs> Last time we built this, a sky city, which uh, is truly in the sky. And oh my god, there's like weird poo graphics going on. But yeah, so this was a bit of a vanity project last time. But I wanted to make sure that all good engineers end up at Heaven Engineer. Heaven Engineer. Uh, but I have noticed my, my money is not great. Minus 11 grand an hour. So today, rather than building anything crazy like that again, we're going to try and sort our economy out. Uh, and thankfully, there are actually quite a few different ways to make money in this game. Now, the obvious one is through taxes, which I have tried to fiddle with. Uh, the trouble is, if we have a look at my population, look, the unemployment rate is 0.1%. If you live in Engetopia, you're going to work. This is not a city for freeloaders because everyone needs to contribute so I can build massive towers in the sky. Wait, wait, zoom in, zoom. What is that, editor? What is that? We can click on it. It's a crazy rock climber. Oh well, yeah, in order to keep that guy happy with his hobby, we, we need more money. So we need more jobs. We got to get that unemployment rate up a little bit, I think. So more jobs. Jobs, I mean, or more people, to be fair. I think they would both work. The other thing, I've noticed my gas power plant over here. We haven't connected it to the outside world. So we're only exporting 25 megawatts. But if you look at what we're consuming compared to what we're producing, we can probably make a fair bit of money here. Now, I don't really want to use pylons. They're big, they're ugly. I would rather set the elevation down and then just take this under the ground. So it will come up to the highway, then we'll go along the highway and then connect to that pylon. Right, sorted. Now we should be exporting energy. All right, so the other way I can make a lot of money is to use these specialized industrial areas. Um, oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's a tornado. It's heading straight for my pedestrian center. What are you doing? No, no, please. I mean, to be fair, these people are not phased in the slightest. <laughs> I would probably be walking like the other direction or probably a light jog, perhaps. Yeah, let's just go have a look over here. <laughs> How are the people getting on? They literally do not care. They're like, yeah, tornado, mate. And not like the tornadoes you have back in my day. Hey, ain't that right, old man? Ain't that right? Anyway, thankfully, tornado is gone. Didn't actually cause any damage. That's pretty good. Uh, over the, oh no, there's fires. Where's the fire? Oh, the fire brigade are there. Oh, thank goodness. All the dogs have been rescued from inside. <laughs> oh man, that's quite, that's quite a building on fire that. Thankfully though, I think, yeah, it's been, it's been put out. Everyone is saved. Right. Okay. Back to making money. So as I was saying, we, we gotta, we gotta invest in some of these, some of these industries. Now I have a feeling oil is going to be the the most profitable industry. Now, the trouble with that is I got to wait till milestone 8 big town which I think is yes it is the next milestone we're going to get to. So if we have a look at natural resources oh yeah there's oil everywhere. So all of these are sort of our oily areas. Oh man look at the river up here. We may need to block off that river. It's a proper oil field. So yeah we know what we're aiming for. The trouble is we're still like a third of the XP away from what we need. Now in my time playing this I have found there's a little sort of XP glitch. Uh, the easiest thing to do it with is probably parks. So basically if you build a small place Playground. You can see it only costs five grand. Oh, but can you see what you get for placing it? Plus 100 XP. Now that is the same for all these parks. Even like these large ones that cost 42 grand. You still only get 100 XP. And the thing I found, it's not just if you place one down, you get that XP. It's for every single one you place, you'll get some XP. And since it costs five grand, you can place one down and then you can delete it and you will lose a bit of money. You'll lose like 1200 quid. But you keep the XP, which means what we could do, I mean, perhaps I'll do it. Perhaps I will do it over here. You can just place park after park after park and look at my XP fly. So whilst we now have a, a complete sack full of <laughs> a sack full of playgrounds, uh, it did cost us a fair bit of money. So it might be worth literally just boosh, delete them all out of existence. Watch the money go up. Yes, please. And then just build them again. And then suddenly we are a big town. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to do, like before before we got too far, commenters came up with the best name for this town ever. Not Engetopia 2, but Engetopia. Oh my good. How did I not see that? It's so obvious now. Nice. Oh, and by the way, I've now got 2.3 million for uh, getting that progression, which means I should be able to invest that in, in the oil industry. So first things first, let's have a look at what we need for the the oil industry. We gotta shove this building on 
on some oil. So where do I actually want my oil industry to be? Our current industrial area is here. I think this is going to have to be like out of town somewhere. I can see what way the wind's going. Okay, so the wind's going that way. I don't know how fast wind is in this game or like how far it takes pollution. But what I do know, it doesn't actually change direction, which is quite handy. So perhaps I do want to block up this area. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So this is all upstream. Let's just buy those four tiles. 159 grand. Oh, thank you. Then I'm going to buy these two so we're connected via rail. Wait, they're not railways. That's a highway. I got ripped off. The railways are up over there. Oh, that's quite a long wait. Still, I can just about get those. I've only got one tile remaining. So hopefully this is enough. But yeah, right. I now want to level this. So I've got all of that. I'm then going to build a key. So two lane road like that up in the air. I think as long as it's five meters high, we should be able to get a nice curve on. So basically do that. Right, then we can just cut this out. So now we've got like a nice seawall ready for our industrial area. So, oh man, this thing is huge. That's what she said. Okay, so we'll plonk this in. I mean, does it matter where? I'm not sure. Plonk it in there. Draw out the area. Right, so then we need a road connection from here up to our highway. I'll tell you what, since I'm lazy, let's just delete the highway. And then, oh no, I haven't unlocked intersections. I could spend four of my points on them. It's so lazy though. I used to be a highway engineer. I can do intersections myself. I've clearly shown that I'm capable of designing sensible highway intersections in this game myself. I mean, to be fair, this one was actually pretty decent. But yeah, right. Highway tool, parallel them. And we want them to go 10 meters in the air for that length then a bridge over that way and then down like that okay now we got a bridge we can then plop this road over here ish and we'll plop down a roundabout underneath and we'll take an arm off like that go over here roundabout there another one there curved road over like that okay so then these roundabouts you can see the arrow there means you go left round them they're british remember so then from here we want to go over to that one. This one, we want to go to there like that. And then we bung a roundabout in the middle as well. Perfect. All right, so we end up with something like that. So, <laughs> so we got four roundabouts connected to another roundabout in the middle. This roundabout in the middle, that's the one that comes down to our main road that leads to our new oil thing. And then these four roundabouts, they are for the slip roads off here. So basically highways, I think I want to up this to three lanes, it's like there and there. Over this side, oh, it exceeds city limits. Right, this is the last tile I'm buying for this, I swear. But yeah, we shove that there, that there. And now these, these are just the diverge lane and the, and the merge lane. Meaning we can take a one lane, one way highway from the end like that. We can take it down here and then connect to this roundabout. Boosh, nice. Then over this side, we want to do the same, but going from this roundabout up to there. So you can see if you come off the highway, you go onto this roundabout, and then you have to go around to get to the middle roundabout. Lovely. This side, similar thing. Right, beautiful. So now we have a road connection down to here. We've just got to get water, electricity, and sewage. Brilliant. Although not really brilliant because, oh, I don't have any tiles. So I can't just share Engetopias, at least for now, unless I just buy a few more parks, watch that XP rise, and watch as absolutely no one comes to the park, and then the local council decides sod it bulldoze the lot see you later mate boosh and then we go again we have just realized you don't even have to build them on a road anyway yay we're now a great town which means a load more money oh man the xp is still flying in <laughs> oops i didn't mean to click it that many times still we got our three and a half grand the main thing though we've got our tiles which means i can connect them up i only actually needed two tiles but hey ho all right so then i'm pretty sure i can just take pipes from here all the way up to there and then we have everything except for electricity but we've already got pylons here so the question is is it cheaper to build a transformer station for 30 grand or a load of electricity cables like low voltage ones if i were to take these up there oh these are going to be way that's two that's 300 quid okay so i put telegraph poles the whole way along there although they're not telegraph poles are they they're electrical poles but now we have electricity which means we have everything we need to is wait that's that's not the building is it that's just a rock sorry boulder 
Apologies, any of rocks watching that found that offensive. Um, oh, uh, hang on. What are these? What are these? No car access. No pedestrian access. Uh, excuse me. Oh, there we go. For some reason, that thing never spawned. Anyway, we now have a single pump. Uh, but I will just draw the entire the entire size again. Just so we're taking full advantage of all of this. Aha. Okay, so now, as well as our little drill, we have a couple of big drills. Which means, as soon as someone moves in, oh, which they have, Lopo have moved in. We are going to be producing crude oil. Now, if we head to our production tab in the economy, we should find... Find. Yes, the chain for crude oil. So we got oil drilling, which I think is what we're going to be doing. It looks like we can export it. We can also process it. And presumably that means in one of these industrial zones, right? I guess the key thing is that we get our we get our oil up there easily. Now we have the highway connection, but perhaps, perhaps it's worth with the trains getting like a cargo thing in. So we could put a cargo train terminal down here. So we can plonk that there. And then all we got to do is do a simple railway line from here over it's gonna have to go like over this river up to the railway up here because this connects to the outside world remember so double train track down like that another one up to there and this we've just got to take down in the most efficient manner like that that then crosses the mighty river and the oil field and ends up at the cargo station Oh, look, there's loads, of, there's loads of dump trucks coming. Where have they come from? Origin, Chatham. Where's Chatham? Oh, they've come from the edge of the map. I don't want to be importing. I want to be exporting. All right, okay. Trouble now is it's saying there are no vehicles. I think that's because I wanged the... Yeah, the transportation budget went way down. So let's get it back up to 100%. Yes, it's going to cost me a lot more per month. But it should give me some trains. Although, actually, do I need... I may need a rail yard or at least connect all of this rail yard up. Oh, yeah, there you go. There are the cargo trains. And you'll notice they are completely empty for now. I think that's because they're going to go fill up with fuel. Oh, my goodness. What's happened to the train? <laughs> what's happened to it? Oh, dear. I did just like tweak the tracks in front of it. Didn't seem to like that. Still back on track now. Literally. Boom. I'll tell you what. That is a lovely sort of railway line through the autumnal trees. Hey, honestly, look at this. Look at it come flying past. Oh, there's a post there. <laughs> Cheers, post. Ruin my angle. But yeah, as that disappears around the corner, we should see it head up here onto our main railway network. And then it should allow us to deliver some oil. Oh, look how many employees we've got. We're just one short. That's slightly annoying. But yeah, this, this is great. This is working. And I think it should make us cash. I'm just wondering whether it would be worth like making a sort of industrial zone down here. Because we've got the roundabout with the road access. We've got the cargo access access so why not do a bit of that then just yellow this place up because yeah like this is bomber fuel we want petrochemical stuff going here now i'm not entirely sure whether i can force like crude oil stuff or whether it's going to be a bit of everything it might just be a bit of everything but oh a way i could do it actually if we head into the the taxation Oh, look, chemical plant. Decent. We will put that down. But yeah, if we head into industrial, we can find stuff. Yeah, like crude oil. What I could do is like lower the tax. I mean, I could even pay people. I could give them 10%. If they if they use up crude oil and then things that use it like the the petrochemicals probably plastics so I imagine that will encourage like these businesses it should encourage them to use the the new oil and then I can like tax them right at the end the end of the production chain that sounds sensible to me anyway look the train has finally arrived heading under my bridge there there's another train coming as well I just wonder is there anything to actually fill it up with yet hey, look it's heading away it's heading back completely empty okay well that didn't didn't quite go to plan. Oh, by the way, check out this place. We are there are pumps for days. Now I just wonder in this game, is it the same as the first in that the oil will like run out or does it never run out? I'm not entirely sure. But what I do want to do, I want to maximize these. So if I shove I shove one down there, try and make the most of all of this oil. Right, I've then got another one, another rival company. I've even got space for a third. So if I shove those there. Right, we then have proper competing companies and competition is good for everyone unless you're tired of playing polybridge 3 then you may as well just give up but yeah right i might try deleting these ones that are like loggers and stuff what's that clothes we don't want clothes get out of it and yeah basically i'm just going to keep deleting these until they're all petrochemicals all right and then yeah they're slowly all coming back as either crude oil or petrochemicals so that is good next up that signature building where was it there it was chemical plant plus one industrial efficiency city wide oh yes we will shove this in oh 
Man, it is a big boy, though. Still plonk that back there. Oh, my goodness. Look at the size of it. So that requires minerals and crude oil and produces chemicals. I don't actually think we're, we're doing minerals. Maybe I'll look at that as well. But yeah, that's the point with these. Are there? Yeah, look, there's a fuel one. How do I unlock that? Level 5 industrial manufacturing buildings. 1 out of 50. 50? That could take a while. Are there any other ones? Oil refinery. That is what we want. Industrial manufacturing building. Oh, we just got 10,000 cells and a technical university. Okay, education. We need the technical university. I mean, we should have that anyway. This is Engertopia. So this is our sort of education area. So we're going to have to shove it down here somewhere. So what does it cost? One? Oh, only two points. Thank you, game. Boosh. Okay, it costs 1.6 million though. That is pricey. Do I even want to shove that down? I don't know if it will work down here. I, mean, I might have to shove it up here by the by the highway. Yeah, I think that'll be that'll be better up there. Highway along the front. Connect that up there. And that should get everything it needs. Yeah, there we go. And then can we... Oh, we can upgrade it as well. More room for students. So look, where those where those fields are, that becomes a building. Yeah, decent. You're having that. A workshop upgrade. Don't think it's visual, but we'll wang that in anyway. Now that is the best technical university in the world. And it's the RCE Technical University, of course. Average time to graduate? Never. <laughs> Never? <laughs> Who needs stats on schools anyway? It's all about the learning, not about the result, right? Maybe. Right, it's now it's now winter. There's snow literally everywhere. Uh, I built a load more industrial stuff, which means we have finally unlocked the oil refinery. Now, this thing is a beast. I feel like it's probably better to have it sort of like, probably down here next to the oil fields. Yeah, that gets me a thousand XP as well. Lovely. But yeah, we just got to connect this up. Now, thankfully, my key is just a big road, so I can shove that there. And now we're all connected. So hopefully someone will move in here. You can see it's currently empty and available for rent. But as soon as someone moves in, I feel like we'll be making some fat cash. Oh, ooh, that's horrible. That's horrible. That is a crossroads. We don't have those in Engertopia. Bam. Roundabout fixed. Right, I'm a bit concerned about this no vehicles thing. Like, it says there's two active vehicles, but there isn't. What if I just reduce that down to two? Ah, there we go. Oh, is that filling up? Right, it looks like it's got, like, everything except for the oil that we're producing. <laughs> I thought you were meant to be exporting it. We should have 33 tons of oil that we don't need. We should be exporting that. All right, well, anyway, our current money situation, minus 21 grand an hour. If we now start taxing the oil and all the products, we are now making a million quid an hour. Or is that a month? A million quid a month through taxation. Uh, trouble is, the, the income is still far below the expenses. But I'm going to guess that's because no one's moved into this place. So I guess for now, we'll wait to see what happens. Oh, look, it's the global warming is working. The snow is disappearing. I was worried all that investment I put into the global warming didn't work. But yeah, snow has gone now. Hopefully, hopefully someone will move in here soon. But yeah, for now, I'm going to say peace, love and endotopia. Bye, guys.